rescue the rivers before they become our sorry graves. The team Green Tech Foundation Meghalaya India, in petition submitted on the 9th February 2021 to the Chief Minister's Office, Government of Meghalaya, signed by the Chairman Sri H B N Nonglang, the Secretary General Sri K S Amle, and the Coordinator Sri R Lingdo, brought to his attention the pathetic condition of River Waumkra and Waumshirpi Shillong. As per the content of the petition, both the rivers, which form a joint reservoir and the principal source of hydropower projects and water supply for the state, are unfortunately also on the top of the country's list of most polluted rivers. This has in the past resulted in the government of Meghalaya being penalised to the tune of Rs 50 lakhs by the National Green Tribunal, which was paid from the public's purse. While the chairman of the Meghalaya State Pollution Control Board, MSPCB, has stated since October 2019 that an action plan of the Meghalaya State Rejuvenation Committee had already received approval from the Central Pollution Control Board CPCB, to clean Waumkra with the possibility of the fine imposed on the state being refunded to the state's coffers. The two rivers have continued to remain ignored and ignobly polluted. Further, as per the petition, the action plan for rejuvenation of Umshirpi River, amounting to Rs 59.63 crore, rupees, appears to have been either cancelled or scraped indefinitely by the state government for no apparent reasons. So far, the only tangible action taken in this regard is the special cleaning drive conducted by the Office of the Deputy Commissioner East Kasi Hills District before the Northeast Food Fest in December of last year, where Rs 16 lakhs were spent on the project. A very laudable project indeed, as the river that flows along the Polo area is now by and large restored and cleaned. In 2013, the Kasi Hills Autonomous District Council, via the 13th Finance Commission, has spent approximately Rs 50 lakhs upon the clean Waumkra mission. Furthermore, another Rs 1.25 crore rupees was spent for cleaning Waumkra in the year 2016. But the public are yet to find out why the project amounting to Rs 27 lakh that was proposed for the same action during the ministerial term of MLA H. Dolling was dropped or canned. The petition then goes on to list numbers of similar projects that have disappeared into thin air, following glorious announcements made by the government at various times to restore, rejuvenate and clean the rivers in the state. To mention two of such projects, when Dr. Amprin Lingdor was the urban minister, she stated, that approximately Rs 150 crore has been assured to be funded by the Asian Development Bank ABD, with another Rs 100 crore coming from the centre via the JNNURM second for the establishment of six sewage treatment plants STPs, within the city. The MSPCB in its defence before the Honourable National Green Tribunal on 20th May 2020 stated a budget of 3.5 crore rupees has been proposed via the National Plan for Conservation of Aquatic Ecosystems of Financial Year 2019 to 2020 for the execution of the design, development and operation for a period of one year, a pilot project involving bioremediation of the quality of water in one of the two streams, Umkra or Umshirpi. The Umyam River can generate power only up to the year 2024 due to the quantity of silt deposit which is 0.5 million cubic meter every year, which is the result of the flow of waste from Waumkra, Umshirpi, down to River Roro and finally to the Umyam River. The increase in silt deposit is slowly impacting and soon the river will die a slow and natural death when the silt deposits turn into a marshy land. As per the report titled, River Stretches for Restoration of Water Quality, published by the Central Pollution Control Board, MOEFCC, on February 2015. There are about 10 polluted river stretches in Meghalaya, including rivers Umkra, Umshirpi, Bugi, Kinshi, Karukla, Lukha, Mintudu, Nongba, Umtro, and Wable. And the most polluted of these rivers, Wa Umkra and Umshirpi, flowing right through our backyards and no one, especially the government, is grateful enough to do anything about it. The dying rivers are indeed a clear indication of the sordid of affairs of the state and those in power. The petition ended with recommendations for immediate actions to be taken by the government to rescue these rivers from extinction and the entire state from a perpetual state of load shedding. <laughs> The Pinopejah team in a pinroot, not do Arjak, not do by Kumparin, but by the other minister. 